Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have a little bit of leaks of pictures of the new OneDrive app. Microsoft had mentioned um, a while back that there would be a redesign of the uh, OneDrive app. Right now, what we have in OneDrive is pretty much the same in Windows 11 than in Windows 10. Well, the new redesign will actually have the Windows 11 look and feel, so... We have a couple of leaked pictures. One is the login account and the OneDrive setup. As you see here, the field, the look, the way that things are actually uh, placed in the user interface really look a lot more like a um, Windows 11 style. Actually, you see the name here. This is the Twitter user, Florian, that actually leaked the pictures. In another uh, picture, we see also some of the settings with the sliders and notifications. So this gives you an idea that uh, this really will be looking and feeling like Windows 11. Now, um, the question that might come to some of you is, will this come to Windows 10? I believe the redesigned app does have a Windows 10 component to it, which means that Windows 10 users will see a update to OneDrive, but it will not have the same look and feel. It won't, it won't have the... Windows 11 style menus will stay in the Windows 10 style menu. Um, there's a few things that will be added in features also. We know that uh, one of the things they want to add is stories, meaning that it will look at dates and look at different times in your OneDrive and create stories of events that uh, has happened, for example, with pictures and so on. So um, this is coming uh, soon, I would guess. It's still not sent out to test for regular insiders, so it's still a little way off, but we know that uh, there is a redesign coming and a few changes coming to OneDrive uh, in the near future. So this is going to be welcome. Um, OneDrive is one of the ways that you can actually back up your files, back up what's happening with your computer. I do use um, OneDrive a lot because I love the fact that everything is available on every PC that I use as long as OneDrive is there with my Microsoft account. And of course, you do need a Microsoft account to use a OneDrive on Microsoft's cloud. Uh, the standard OneDrive, I believe, is seven gigabytes of storage. Um, if you need more, of course, you have to pay. Um, but if you have a subscription, and you know, sometimes uh, people say, well, I don't need a subscription to uh, you know Office or anything. Um, I think what is nice is to add the fact that even though, um, you know, you might not be a big Office user, just for the price, the one terabyte of storage that it actually comes with is already pretty much a good deal at the price they have. So that's also why one of the big reasons I actually kept my uh, Microsoft subscription. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.